Hi, it's Wanda. Okay, so this is another re-pour. Actually, this is the third time, I believe, of painting on this canvas. And when I went to pour my white on, I could tell it was a little thick. It wasn't moving very well. So I thought, well, I'll go ahead and cover my edges and the top with that. I'm gonna pour that pretty good sized puddle of that in the middle. Let it spread out a little bit. Hope that's enough. Hope it's thin enough. Okay, this is the same paint that I used in my last blow dryer video. And it's the Phthalo Turquoise. Now I have lightened it a little bit, same cup. You can tell how dark it was the first time. So I have lightened it just a little bit with some white. This is the same purple. I've lightened it a little bit with some white. And I did pour out some, a little tiny bit of the dark purple, just in case I need it darker in the front, or like in the middle of it. And I'm gonna, I think that one's pretty thin. Make sure these are thin enough, because they don't flow good if they're not. And this actually may not turn out as pretty as the other one, with me watering the, I mean, uh, lightening the colors. That's pretty thin. So I'm gonna do like I did before. I'm gonna pour it around that little bit of a big circle. Or more of it this time. And I think I'm gonna blow it before I add the lightened purple, just a little bit and get it spread out some. Okay, this is my observation first. That white paint is still not thin enough. It is not moving like it should be moving. And I try to also pay attention to my pattern. I want it to kind of go into the corners. I want it to flow out like that in about five or six different directions. I don't have to cover the whole canvas, but you do want to have a pleasing pattern. So I'm going to try again to move this a little bit more because I can scoot this on down just a little bit and we'll see what happens. And I wish I had gotten that white paint thinner. I mean, it really needs to be thin. I also wanted to show you that I put another piece of tape on my blow dryer. So now it's got an opening that's only about a half inch wide and it's not powerful enough. I need a stronger, more powerful blow dryer. Here we go, I will mute the blow dryer.
this isn't wanting to move. There's not enough white under there. So let's try this, bring it right up to the edge. Let's see what happens. As you can see, the color's pretty but it's not nearly as vibrant as it was before I lightened it. So putting it on a white base, you may not wanna lighten your paint if you buy that phthalo turquoise, which is what this is. It's a beautiful color. I've used it when I did a brush painting and I did a moon um, with trees in front of it. And I used this as the dusky kind of color around the moon and then faded it out with some phthalo blue mixed in with it and went darker um, as I went out away from the trees and then I had trees in there. Turned out real pretty. I think it turned out real pretty anyway. Might as well get this on here right now. Then if I blow it in. I'm going to, I hope y'all can see that, put a little bit more down here as well because it really needs it. It's thin here on this corner. You know, I'm a big proponent of fiddling with your paints and your painting. You don't have to let it just do what it wants to do. I mean, you can kind of try to take control. If you mess it up, so what? If, it, if you're not happy with it, you're not happy with it anyway. So just go ahead and play with it. Then if you have to scrape it off, start again, at least you learned something. Okay, I'm happy with that. Not so happy about all this white right in the middle. So we're gonna go in with just a little bit of that really dark purple. Let's see if we can center this painting a little bit, give it some depth right in the middle. I think I'm finished. Look at these cells that popped out. May have to fix a little bit more white right in here. But now it has depth. Now it has a center. And it, it looks like it goes deeper. And then it comes up and then it goes out and it changes colors. And you never know what is lurking underneath that white too. So once you get started, you may blow a place and have another color pop out, like this green is probably underneath that white, but right now I'm not gonna mess with it because I'm totally happy with this. I think it's really pretty. I think it came out good. And I wish that was blended a little bit more, but. That's good enough right there. See, took care of a big white blob. How about right in here? See? Now, the other painting that I did, by the way, did, I was worried about how it was gonna dry. It flattened out, even though it was a lot of paint left in the middle of it, it flattened out, it dried, it turned out gorgeous. And I don't have it sitting here right now. I think I carried it upstairs. I'm in my basement, or I would show it to you, but I may put a picture of it in the video when I edit the video. So thank you so much for watching. 
I hope that you've enjoyed this video and hopefully you'll go out and you'll make a beautiful painting that you're happy with because I'm happy with this and I don't have to satisfy anybody but me. So if you make a painting and you love it, don't let anybody else tell you it's not art. It's not the right kind of art. It's not the best kind of art or it's not what they, what it is, is it's not what they expected to see. And so don't worry about that part. Just go out and do it. Have fun. Enjoy yourself and have a wonderful day, evening, night. Thank you.